top 5 biggest jerks in the world today while discussing the issue of horrible people it's important to not give in to emotions and start comparing everyone to hitler the people on this list are in a word come but legally their crimes barely register on the outrageous meter however in strictly moral terms everyone on this list has sunk to lows which you'd need a state of the art military submarine to reach number 5 Awful at number 5 is Jiao Bao. Jiao Bao aka Wolf Dad is a horrible person and parent. In his book originally actually titled Beat Them Into Peking University, he lays out what is most likely a taunt for God Almighty to finally end his life by admitting to the following things. He regularly beats his kids sets up literally thousands of rules for how they are supposed to act including how to hold stuff and actually considers himself to be a great dad and surprisingly his face looks like the result of millions of years of evolution working hard to produce the most punchable object in the universe number 4 Gusting John M Fiella is at number 4. Let's get this out of the way. Reverend Fiella is a pedophile priest. But as horribly depressing as that makes one feel, priests molesting kids isn't really all that uncommon. So what makes Fiella eligible for this list? One simple detail. After his victim accused Fiella of sexual abuse, he put a hit on the kid's head. Fortunately, he offered the $5,000 for the boy's life to an undercover agent with the Texas Department of Public Safety and is now currently comfortably behind bars with no further harm coming to his victim. Unfortunately, you know that Fiella is destined to strike it rich after he sells the movie rights to his thoroughly messed up story and the resulting film will end up making millions. Number 2 Making it to this not so esteemed place at number 3 is Darren Peace. What do you make of someone who steals over 300,000 pounds from a trust fund of a quadruple amputee five-year-old girl who also happens to be his niece? If you've answered, "Oh god, what the hell is wrong with the world?" then you were correct. The story is simple. Darren Peace is a banker and part-time Pillsbury Doughboy lookalike who was made a trustee of his niece's charity fund, which she was counting on for small stuff like, oh, replacement limbs and living. Peace was trusted with managing the small fortune due to his experience in finances and because he was family. But in 2008, it was discovered that he had plundered all but roughly 200 pounds of the original cash which which mostly came from donations police say that they are looking into what peace did with the money a statement which one sincerely hopes means that they are planning to tie him to a chair and work on his face with a cricket bat for a couple of nights number 2 Coming in at 2 is Hamza Abu Hamdi. Sabrina Huck was just 14 when she died of a brain tumor, but here death was made all the more sad when she didn't get her dying wish to finally have her own room in a real house. What's worse, she almost saw her dream come true when her local community came together and raised $120,000 for her. But then they entrusted the money to Sabrina's cousin Hamza, who bought a house and immediately rented it to other people. people leaving Sabreen to die in her tiny apartment when confronted about his crimes which come down to three counts of theft Hamza chewed his gum smirked and replied that the wishes of a dying kid don't mean much to him because hey we're all going to die he's of course totally right especially after someone finds both the cheapest flight to where the jerk lives and a way to attach an angry badger to a sharpened hockey stick number 1 Not so glorious at number 1 is the HIV guy. Look, HIV sucks. But no matter how bad or alone you feel with it, we advise no beg you not to do what this anonymous New Zealand man did and infect your sleeping wife with the virus 
just so that your misery can have company. And that's not the whole story. The guy who did this also missed having sex with his wife after he contracted the virus by, I'm going to say, rolling in medical waste for fun. Yeah, that sounds like the kind of stupid, senseless thing this guy would do. Unfortunately, his sick plan worked halfway. After pricking his wife with a needle soaked in his infected blood, the man succeeded in giving his wife HIV. He will even finally get his wish and have lots and lots of sex, though mostly of the rapey variety as he will most likely and hopefully spend the rest of his miserable life in prison.